We begin tonight with a bread delivery gone terribly wrong. The man left his teenage son inside a van while making a drop off when a suspect jumped inside the vehicle and drove away. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge in Times Square with what happened next. We spoke to the driver's boss who said the father and son have been released from the hospital, though it'll be weeks before they fully recover. This happened at 5.30 this morning, and witnesses say, thank goodness everything was quiet here on the street because that van came right up onto the sidewalk, smashed into this building. You can see it's all boarded up now. Video shows a pile of scaffolding collapsed on top of this delivery van that careened into a building at 45th Street and 7th Avenue. Police say it was stolen by a 30 year old who witnesses say appeared to be emotionally disturbed. Running around in all these stores talking about people who were trying to kill him. He ran into somebody's van, he stole the van, and he reversed it. In the process, police say he seriously hurt a father and son who were working. This 38 year old father, seen here being wheeled into an ambulance, was delivering bread to restaurants in Manhattan. His 15 year old son, helped by EMS, was accompanying him as they made their rounds. The delivery driver had left the van idling on West 44th Street. That's when we're told the suspect jumped in, punched the son in the head, and drove off with him still in the vehicle. The father tried to stop the suspect, grabbing onto the door handle, but the NYPD says the vehicle backed up, breaking his left leg and hand. He now has to undergo surgery, according to his boss, who runs the bakery. My driver feels sorry for him because he's been with me a long time, and now he's hurt in the hospital. The man has worked for GM Piero Bakery in Queens for more than two decades, and it's common practice to keep vehicles running while working. We have keys for restaurants. A bag of bread, they open the door, drop it in, and go. So usually block by block, so they don't ever shut off the trucks. It never happened. I've been doing this for 30 years. It never happened. Officers happened to be on the street just as the suspect crashed the van. They say he tried to run, but police apprehended him. Charges are still pending. The bakery owner says as a result of this, at least 30 restaurants didn't get their bread deliveries. But he says more importantly, he hopes for a full recovery for both the father and son and also adds that this is their livelihood. In Times Square, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News.